Question 1. When merging onto a highway, you should A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Slow down and wait for a gap in traffic. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. When merging onto a highway, you should speed up to match the flow of traffic and merge when it is safe to do so. Question 2. Which of the following must not be done in a crosswalk? A. Wait for passengers. B. Park temporarily. C. Both I and B. Answer. C. Both I and B. It is illegal and unsafe to park or wait for passengers in a crosswalk. Question 3. True or false. At intersections without stop or YELD signs, the vehicle that arrives first has the right of way. Answer. True. The first vehicle to arrive at the intersection goes first. Question 4. To ensure your side mirrors are correctly adjusted. A. You should see the side of your vehicle. B. You should only see the road behind. C. A little of both the side of your vehicle and the road behind. Answer. C. A little of both the side of your vehicle and the road behind. Properly adjusted sign mirrors should give a view of both the sign of your vehicle and the road behind. Question 5. True or false? It is legal to drive with headphones covering both ears. Answer. False. Using headphones or earplugs in both ears while driving is illegal because it can prevent a driver from hearing sirens or horns. Question 6. The shape of a stop sign is A. Square B. Rectangle C. Octagon Answer. C. Octagon. A stop sign is octagonal in shape. Question 7. If you're faced with a steady yellow traffic light, you should A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Stop if it's safe to do so. C. Always stop immediately. Answer. B. Stop if it's safe to do so. A steady yellow light means the light is about to turn red. Question 8. True or false? It's acceptable to use a handheld phone when you're stopped at a traffic light. Answer. False. In New York, using a handheld phone while behind the wheel, even when stopped, is prohibited. Question 9. When parking uphill with a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Towards the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. B. Away from the curb. This ensures that if your car rolls, it will roll away from traffic. Question 10. A triangular sign pointing downwards means A. Yield. B. No entry. C. Slow down. Answer. A. Yield. It indicates you must slow down and yield the right of way to traffic. Question 11. When driving in fog, you should use A. High beams. B. Low beams. C. No lights. Answer. B. Low beams. High beams will reflect off the fog and make it harder to see. Question 12. True or false? Pedestrians always have the right of way. Answer. True. In New York, drivers are expected to yield to pedestrians. Question 13. In a roundabout, you should. A. Always stop before entering. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. C. Speed up to merge with traffic. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. Question 14. True or false? You should use your horn to greet a friend you see while driving. Answer. False. Horns should only be used to warn others to prevent an accident. Question 15. When you see a sign with a picture of a bicycle, it means A. Bicycle shop ahead. B. Watch for cyclists. C. Parking for bicycles only. Answer. B. Watch for cyclists. It warns you that bicycles regularly cross or ride alongside the roadway in that area. Question 16. The road is most slippery. A. After it starts to rain. B. After it stops raining. C. In the middle of a downpour. Answer. A. After it starts to rain. Roads are most slippery just after it starts to rain because the rain mixes with oils on the road. Question 17. 
true or false. You can be fined for not wearing a seatbelt in New York. Answer, true, New York has a mandatory seatbelt law for all passengers. Question 18, if two vehicles arrive at an intersection at the same time. A, the vehicle on the left goes first. B, the vehicle on the right goes first. C, whichever vehicle is bigger goes first. Answer, B, the vehicle on the right goes first. This is a standard right-of-way rule. Question 19. When can you turn right on red in New York? A. After coming to a full stop and ensuring the way is clear. B. Any time, as long as you slow down. C. Only between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Answer. A. After coming to a full stop and ensuring the way is clear. Remember to always check local laws, as some places may have restrictions. Question 20. A sign that is yellow with a black symbol is A. A regulatory sign B. A warning sign C. An informational sign Answer. B. A warning sign These signs alert you to conditions or hazards on the road ahead. Question 21. True or false? In New York, you must turn on your headlights when your visibility is reduced to 1,000 feet or less. Answer. True, this ensures you're seen by other drivers in conditions like fog, rain, or snow. Question 22. A flashing red traffic signal at an intersection means A. Stop and wait for the light to turn green. B. Stop and proceed when safe. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. B. Stop and proceed when safe. A flashing red light has the same meaning as a stop sign. Question 23. When are you allowed to pass a school bus with flashing red lights? A. When you're in a hurry. B. When you're driving in the opposite direction on a divided highway. C. Never. Answer. B. When you're driving in the opposite direction on a divided highway. However, always proceed with caution and watch for children. Question 24. True or false. It is okay to pass another vehicle in a no-passing zone if you think it's safe. Answer. False. No-passing zones are designated because they're deemed unsafe for passing. Question 25. When you see a sign that has a red circle with a red line through it, it means A. The action in the sign is prohibited. B. Caution. Hazardous condition ahead. C. Stop immediately. Answer. A. The action in the sign is prohibited. This is a standard for indicating a prohibited action. Question 26. In New York, a pedestrian using a white or metallic cane indicates that the person is A. An emergency responder B. Blind or visually impaired C. A traffic enforcer Answer. B. Blind or visually impaired. Give them the right of way and exercise extra caution. Question 27. True or false? On multi-lane roads, the leftmost lane is intended for slower traffic. Answer. False. On multi-lane roads, the leftmost lane is typically used for passing or faster-moving traffic. Question 28. You are more likely to encounter a motorcycle. A. In a blind spot. B. In a designated motorcycle lane. C. On the sidewalk. Answer. A. In a blind spot, always check blind spots carefully before changing lanes. Question 29. When are roads most likely to freeze? A. Sunny days. B. During the heat of the day. C. Cold, wet mornings. Answer. C. Cold, wet mornings, especially on bridges and shaded areas. Question 30. True or false? If a green arrow turns into a solid green light, you can still turn in the direction of the arrow. Answer. True. But you must yield to other traffic and pedestrians. Question 31. What does a no zone mean regarding large trucks? A. Areas where trucks are not allowed to drive. B. The area where a truck's cargo is stored. C. Blind spots around a truck where your car is no longer visible. Answer. C. Blind spots around a truck where your car is no longer visible. 
it's crucial to stay out of these areas when driving near large vehicles. Question 32. True or false? You must signal your intention to turn or change lanes at least 100 feet in advance. Answer. Tr true. This ensures other drivers are aware of your intentions on the road. Question 33. What is the primary purpose of the diamond-shaped lane markings? A. Indicate pedestrian crossings. B. Reserved for specific types of traffic, like buses or carpool vehicles. C. Mark where U-turns are allowed. Answer. B. Reserved for specific types of traffic, like buses or carpool vehicles. Question 34. When are you allowed to drive using the shoulder of the road? A. When the vehicle ahead is moving too slowly. B. To pass a vehicle turning left. C. Never. Answer. C. Never. It's illegal and unsafe. Question 35. True or false? You're required to stop for a school bus, even if it's on the opposite side of a divided highway. Answer. False. In New York, you're not required to stop if the highway is divided, but always proceed with caution. Question 36. You see a sign with a truck on a declining slope. This sign indicates A. Truck parking ahead. B. Downhill grade ahead. C. Trucks are not allowed. Answer. B. Downhill grade ahead. It warns drivers of a steep descent. Question 37. When driving in work zone, you should A. Speed up to get out of the zone faster. B. Honk your horn to alert workers of your presence. C. Reduce your speed and be prepared for sudden stops. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and be prepared for sudden stops. Always exercise caution in work zones. Question 38. True or false? The use of a handheld mobile phone while driving is allowed if you're reporting an emergency. Answer. True. But it's best to pull over safely before making the call. Question 39. When making a left turn, you should A. Yield to oncoming traffic. B. Always have the right of way. C. Signal only when you start the turn. Answer. A. Yield to oncoming traffic. You should wait until it is safe to make the turn. Question 40. The color of a sign which tells you the distance to the next exit on a highway is A. Red. B. Green. C. Yellow. Answer. B. Green. Green signs on highways typically provide distance and direction information. Question 41. True or false. If an emergency vehicle is approaching with lights and sirens, you should follow closely behind it. Answer. False. Always pull over and allow the emergency vehicle to pass. Question 42. When are you required to turn on your headlights? A. 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise. B. Only when it's raining. C. When you feel like it's getting dark. Answer. A. 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise. Additionally, in conditions where visibility is reduced. Question 43. Which sign indicates that there are merging traffic lanes ahead? A. Two arrows pointing towards each other. B. An arrow making a U-turn. C. Two arrows pointing in the same direction, one above the other. Answer. C. Two arrows pointing in the same direction, one above the other. This indicates that two lanes will merge into one. Question 44. True or false? Large trucks have the same stopping distances as passenger vehicles. Answer. False. Large trucks require more distance to come to a complete stop due to their weight and size. Question 45. You see a sign with a car and a cyclist side by side. This sign indicates. A. Car and bike repair ahead. B. Shared lane for cars and bicycles. C. Parking for cars and bikes only. Answer. B. Shared lane for cars and bicycles. It means the lane is shared by both types of vehicles. Question 46. When driving behind a motorcycle, you should. A. Tailgate to encourage them to go faster. B. Give them more following distance than a car. C. Honk periodically to ensure they know you're behind. Answer. B. Give them more following distance than a car.
Motorcycles can stop more quickly than cars, so give them extra space. Question 47. True or false? In New York, you're required to signal even if no one else is around. Answer. True. Consistently using signals helps develop a good driving habit and ensures safety. Question 48. A broken white line on the road indicates. A. The separation between two lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. B. A no passing zone. C. The separation between two lanes of traffic moving in the same direction and you're allowed to change lanes. Answer. C. The separation between two lanes of traffic moving in the same direction and you're allowed to change lanes. Question 49. If you encounter a funeral procession, you should A. Join the procession to get the right of way. B. Pass the procession if you're in a hurry. C. Yield and show respect. Answer. C. Yield and show respect. It's a gesture of respect and also mandated by some local laws. Question 50. True or false? In the event of a tire blowout, you should immediately turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction. Answer. False. If you experience a tire blowout, keep a firm grip on the steering wheel, let the car slow down gradually, and then pull over safely.